YouTube channel. I filmed this look today. It's a very fall inspired look. Um, I used a lot of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I think like one or two Anastasia eyeshadows um, to achieve this look. So yeah, I hope you guys really like it. Let me know or, or comment down below and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Anything else, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead and thumbs up the video and share, like, retweet, I don't know, everything out there. I'll be sure to have everything linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Um, my eyebrows are already done. I used a mixture of the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then I also go in with the Cabral. This is in the number four. So I'm using the, the Makeup Geek Manny and MUA Collaboration Palette, which just looks like this. I'm also just using some single eyeshadows that I have in like this really old Z palette. Um, for the most part, they are Makeup Geek and there's some MAC and Anastasia eyeshadows in here and these like two Sephora random ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Pot. This is in the color Soft Ochre. So I'm gonna take the, this is the Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and I'm gonna take the color Samoa Silk. This is from MAC, just to set the primer that we placed on our lid. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Creme Brulee, which is this color here. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go in and we're gonna use that as a transition shade. Now I'm gonna take the color Chickadee, and this is from Makeup Geek, and on the same brush, I'm just going to apply it to the crease area as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch palettes, and I'm gonna go in with the color Mars from the Manny and Makeup Geek collaboration palette, which is this color here. And I'm also gonna switch brushes. This is just a it doesn't even have a name on it. It's from Sedona Lace. It's a super old, like, it's just like a tapered blending brush. And we're going to go into the color Mars. And just apply Mars all over the crease area as well. And you're just going to want to apply that all over you can be as messy as you want to be because we just kind of go back and blend everything. Now going in with a flat shadow brush. This is from Urban Decay. We're going to take the color from the Manny and Makeup Geek collaboration palette and we're going to apply that shadow all over the lid. Now going back in with the color Mars on that other blending brush, we're just going to go back and start blending those colors together. Now I'm going to go in with this big fluffy brush. This is from Sedona Lace as well. I purchased this years, years, years ago um, and I still have them. I'm going to go back into the color Chickadee and Creme Brulee and just blend some of those colors up here. Now I'm gonna go in with this color called Wine. This is a Anastasia eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is an LA Girl eyeshadow brush. I got this at the dollar store. It's a dollar. And I'm just gonna spray some Fix Plus onto it and go into that wine color. And we're just going to apply that all over the lid. Then just gonna go back in with the Mars color and we're just gonna go back into that crease and build up some of that color. 
Now I'm going to take the color Lemon Drop, and this is from Makeup Geek as well. Spraying the same brush with Fix Plus, I'm just going to take some of that Lemon Drop color and apply it to the inner corner of your lid. Color works, I find works better applying it with your fingers sometimes. And I'm just intensifying it on the other side of my eye as well. Then going back in with the color wine, I'm just gonna go up top and blend those two colors together. Then going back in with the color Mars and just blending so that everything looks the way it's supposed to look. For eyeshadow under the brow bone, I'm going to take the color Beaches and Cream and I just take it on a Sigma eye shading brush. This is the E55 and we're just going to apply some of that shadow and clean up anything that needs cleaning. So I'm just going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm gonna go in with lashes and I'm just going to use my Samantha lashes. Okay, so the eyelashes are done. I went in and prepped my face with the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way foundation. I'm gonna color Warm Beige. And today I'm gonna apply it with the Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna push that product into the skin. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Born This Way Concealer. I am in the color Light Medium. Well, to highlight, I'm in the color Light Medium. I really, 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 really love this concealer. To set everything, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier set Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just going to apply that underneath so it doesn't crease on me. Finally, once I add it, I sweep it away immediately. Just because for me, I find that baking underneath my eyes can tend to dry the area out and then it looks a million times worse. It just looks like I aged 100 years. Then just taking a big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder Brush. I just dip my brush into the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and then just start applying it to the face. Just to kind of set my whole foundation. So I'm gonna go in with the Tarte, um, Tartiest Contour Palette. And I'm just gonna mix these two shades together to carve out my cheekbone. And I'm just gonna go in with this Sedona Lace SBO5 brush. Now taking this Real Techniques number 200, I'm gonna take that into the lighter shade and then just run it down my nose. And then kind of just take that and blend it out with a more blending brush. So going in with some blush, I'm going to take this, this is Too Faced, <laughs> this Too Faced blush, this is called Your Love is King. It's just this color here and apply it to the cheek area. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Highlight. This is in the color 01. It's just the Matte Radiance Baked Powder, which just looks like this. 
It's definitely a more subtle highlight. And I'm just gonna take it on this, on this Anastasia brush and apply that to And so going in with a pencil brush, this is from Sedona Lace. So just these two colors, mixing those. And I'm just going to run that down in the lower lash line. And just taking that um, defined shader, what is this called? That tapered blending brush. I'm just gonna take that and put it out a little bit more just to smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go into the waterline and I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs. Now they sell them at Sephora in like a little pack and four of them come in the pack. This is my favorite gel liner for the waterline. It is so pigmented and this does not go anywhere all day, nor does it bleed out. Now I'm just going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes and then we'll go in with a lip color. I definitely love the Smashbox formula for liquid lipsticks. They're one of my favorite liquid lipsticks out there. I do have a lot of texture on my lips and I find that this one definitely doesn't emphasize all the texture on my dry ass lips. So this is definitely a dark color. I do wish it was a little bit more orange. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the Smashbox in the color Out Loud and mix it with the color True Grit. Yeah. So this is definitely a more wearable color for me. So to achieve this color, I just went in and mixed these two Smashbox colors together. These are True Grit and Out Loud. I just mixed them both. So this is the final makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. It's very grungy and fall appropriate. You don't have to use a dark lipstick if you're not comfortable with it. You can always go in with a nude or a different color, whatever your preference. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and make sure to go follow me on Instagram. And I also have Snapchat, which I plan to be a little bit more active on. I tend to like forget about it for a couple of days. As far as anything else, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.